September we met. I can tell by your smile. You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while. Hey everybody. So last night, off cheat decided to basically crash Cardi B's rolling out performance and, you know, started part two of the manipulation. Naturally, because she's a public figure, he decided to go ahead and embarrass her once again publicly. Check this out. Now, I see a lot of people online thinking that shit is cute and liking on it. And again, like I said yesterday, the bullshit is manipulative and it's not cute. It really isn't. You could see from her face initially, she was pissed. She was not happy because what's happening here is their life, her life is playing out in front of everybody. And that's, that's just not cool. Most of us could deal with something like this very privately, but these people are dealing with this public because they are indeed public figures. Okay. So he decides to manipulate her further and guilt her further by, of course, crashing her set, um, bringing out this huge flower arrangement and saying, basically take me back. All right. Take your cheating husband back. All right. And then I saw a lot of people like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, you know, all you hating ass hoes that y'all mad because y'all ain't got a man. Well, if I got a man like him, I don't want a man. See, that's the problem with a lot of people. People are assuming that there are jealous women out there, jealous of what Cardi B and Offset has. Trust me, folks ain't here, ain't out here being jealous of that shit. Maybe some, a small slither of people are out here jealous of what Cardi B and Offset have because they like that ghetto ass love, that, that hood shit. But the majority of women out here with some dignity and class, they are not buying it. Okay. Now we've all been a fool for love. I know I have, and I know I have taken back a cheating man before. So I won't be surprised if Cardi B in fact takes her husband back, but I hate the fact that it is, she's being guilted into accepting his bullshit, guilted into accepting him back when she probably isn't ready. And she has said she's not ready. All right. But people are pressuring her to take a back. And you know how Cardi B is. She responds to everything. She's super sensitive and she can't stay offline. All right. So she's responding to all of the, basically the backlash that her husband is getting to the point that, you know, she's going to take him back because now she's feeling a certain type of way of him getting talked about. All right. See, she's not used to offset getting talked about like this. And he's been, he's been getting dogged online lately because of his cheating. Now, in my opinion, if he was serious about trying to woo his wife back and to get her back, he would do the work. And the work doesn't include publicly embarrassing her and putting her on the spot by almost guilt tripping her into taking him back. If he was serious about doing the work, he would get there on a couch with his wife in a, in a therapist's office and, and he would do the work. All right. He would, uh, cut off all his little holes. Cause you know, he got a ton of them. And yes, I know he's a rap artist. 
I know he's a public figure and he has a public persona, but get rid of the fucking phone or get offline something. He would have to show me and not these actions that he's doing. That's not showing, that's not proving anything. That's just saying, Oh, I want the public to help me, uh, get my wife back by guilting her into coming back to me. That's not the work. That's not work. Okay. Somebody this year I was one of the work. most tweeted That's bitches. This year I was one of the most searched bitches, even on fucking Pornhub, bitch. Well, Do you think I need fucking publicity, ho? Hey, Fuck okay. out of here, bitch. I sell. Fuck is who talking about? I don't need no motherfucking publicity, bitch. Right now on my live, there's a hundred and one thousand viewers. You think I fucking need publicity, bitch? Do you think that I want to motherfucking that is shit going? shit with my husband for what bitch think i want niggas to be fucking talking shit about my baby father the nigga that i conceive a kid with no so shut the fuck up you think i want to give these bum ass bitches clout no so what make you think i gotta do shit for publicity dumb ass bitches dumb ass niggas that's how i know it's little ass motherfucking kids they be under the fucking comments then you get smacked by their goddamn mom for being so fucking stupid Nobody get that <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that been supporting me, that been loving me, um, and that feel like they need to defend me, right, wrong, or indifferent. I don't want people like to just keep doing fuck shit, saying fuck shit. Violating my baby father is not gonna make me feel any better because at the end of the day, that's still family. Unfortunately, we going through things and, um, you know, it's not private. It be became public. And I'm just, I just want things to die down. I just want, I just need time so we can see eye to eye. I can't predict the future. I don't know, but the whole, coming out my baby father bullshit that doesn't make me feel any better and i just want to say thank you everybody respect my wishes i love you so much so i know i see a lot of people bashing me because they feeling because i'm defending my baby father they thinking that i'm gonna get getting back together with him i'm not saying that i'm gonna get back together with him i just don't like that bashing online thing just earlier you just saw how pete davidson was talking about how he don't even want to be on this earth because mad people be coming at him every single day i wouldn't want my baby father to have that feeling because of millions of people be bashing him every day that's a nasty feeling and i wouldn't want that i God could give me and bring me the most perfect, glamorous, fabulous man. That perfect, glamorous, fabulous, perfect man is not going to love my child the same way her father loves my child. So I don't like that bullshit because I know how painful it is when you have millions of people bashing you every single day. I don't like that. And it doesn't make me feel any better. Period.